I just watched The Fall Guy. We're going to talk about it. The Fall Guy is the first big blockbuster of the summer, and I was trying so hard to keep my expectations low going into this film. I had no idea that this was actually based on a 1980s show, The Fall Guy, starring Lee Majors. And I'm assuming that there were some references, but since I didn't watch the show, I'm not entirely sure. Kind of felt like there was, but it still follows the same character Colt, who in this movie is a down and out stuntman who formerly dated this director of this new big blockbuster film. And essentially the star on that film goes missing and he needs to kind of figure out what happened to save his ex-girlfriend's big movie break into the industry. This was directed by David Leach, who was a former stuntman who has directed Atomic Blonde and Bullet Train. This movie stars Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. And, you know, is it a rom-com action movie or is it an action rom-com? I feel like the movie balances itself out pretty well, but I guess essentially overall it's a rom-com. But that doesn't mean that there's not a lot of action and a lot of good action. I think that that's one of the biggest and best parts of this film is the action. This movie essentially is a big tribute to the stunt community in this industry and a love story, honestly, to those people that do this as their job because they should get paid more for what they do. They should get recognized for what they do because they risk their lives every single day for our entertainment. And you can see very, very clearly in this movie how much they pay respect to that. So because of this, you can see it very much in this film, how hard they worked on these scenes and how great the choreography is, the stunts, the action sequences. They are so, so good and so creative and, and just fun. Overall, this whole movie is very, very fun. It does take itself seriously, but not seriously in the sense of this needs to be this outstanding, perfect movie. It is a fun blockbuster film that honestly reminds me of kind of like the, the 90s. Like you get these 90 vibes of these kind of unrealistic things that are happening, but they're fun and they're entertaining, so it doesn't matter. I felt like the chemistry between Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt was amazing. I think that they're probably good friends in real life, but maybe because of that and their acting skills and they're so charming, you just felt the chemistry. You felt like these characters were so in love and they should be in love and you want them to to work out and, and have this happily ever after ending. Hannah Waddingham and Aaron Taylor Johnson were also really great in this film. I wish they would have had more screen time in the movie, especially Aaron, because he was just he's always fun and he always does a really good job, but I feel like he's just so captivating every time he's on a screen. I also really enjoyed the behind the scenes of, you know, making a movie and what kind of goes into it. Obviously they exaggerated everything in this film, but it's still there. It's still showing how hard it is to make an action movie or just any parts of a film. Like there's just so much work that's put into it and you can really see that they're really showcasing a lot of the crew and what they do and how hard they work. And I really, really do wish that the Oscars would implement a category for stunts and stunt people because they deserve that recognition. The only downside to this movie is the pacing and the length. The runtime is two hours and six minutes, but it had honestly like a fourth act where you think that it ends and you're like, oh, everything's good and it's wrapped up, but then it just kind of keeps going and you're like, oh, but it's actually good. So I think that if they would have polished this up and tightened it, I think that this would have been a really, really solid movie, but because of the pacing, and the time on it, I think that that's what kind of lowers it, my ranking for it a little bit more. But that being said, that fourth act is really, really good and really, really entertaining. And there was so much happening and it was just, it was fun. It was so fun to watch that it's kind of a bummer that by that point in the movie, I was a little fatigued and I was kind of like, when are we going to wrap this up? But I still enjoyed it. And going back to the pacing, I think that in the first half, it's a lot slower. And then the last half, it's a lot faster. And I feel like they were trying to kind of cram in a lot of this exposition between these two characters that you didn't really need. I feel like you could have sensed that and felt it with maybe some flashbacks here and there. But 
like I said, it's not that big of a deal. It's just, I feel like it probably would have been even better had they just tightened up the first act a little bit more. Overall, I really enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed it more than I thought that I would. I went in with low expectations and I'm glad that I did it that way. Of course, Ryan Gosling is a great actor. This role kind of reminded me a lot of the nice guys. If you've ever seen that movie, he's great in that movie. And just the vibe of his character, very charming, very funny, very silly. I loved Emily Blunt. She actually surprised me with her humor. I thought that their chemistry was great. And it was just an overall very fun movie that definitely reminded me of watching those action films in the 90s, which I absolutely adore. So if you're looking for a good time and a fun blockbuster action, maybe romance movie, definitely check out The Fall Guy. That is my review, guys. Those are my thoughts. If you've seen the movie, let me know what you think, if you liked it, if you didn't. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.